Welcome back, friends. It is I, Arsal Scarf, and it's time for another episode of The Wolf Among Us. Now, some things to note first up is... We did notice some choppiness in the first episode, and so we've made improvements on it. We should not get as much choppiness now from now on, because we did make some improvements, which should work out. I think the note about a game... Telltale games are always... Uh, you, you Things you do affect things in little ways, but they don't affect the overall story in a way. The way Jinx put it is you're on a leash. You can go left and right, but you're always on the linear path. And I'm fine with that. It really makes the journey interesting, even though you can't affect the end game of it all. It's still pretty fun and very interesting to play. Like, the way I'm playing Big B is a dude that's, you know, he's had not the best past, and he's trying to be less hated. Well, another way you could play him is just be a total dick. But the way I'm playing him is the way I feel I want to play him. So that's how it is. Extras over here, you just get to see stuff about characters. You get to see, just, you get to read up all these characters. You get to read, who is Colin? Colin Surfer. Alright, so he's one of the pigs, but well, it doesn't say if he's the brick pig or a different pig. But he's just, so there's a farm where they put all the animal, uh, fable creatures over there, because they just can't pass as human. That's interesting, okay. You got Fable Town then, and you got, of course, Mr. Toad and all these other things. That's pretty cool. Wait, is Mr. Toad the, the one with the big ride? Is that who it is supposed to be? Because I thought Mr. Toad was awesome. This guy's not so cool. Not so cool. You got the Beast, who I'm going to assume can transform as well. If Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute. Growing horns and large teeth. They bicker once in a while. They're truly in love, isn't that nice? They've had the longest lasting relationship anyone in Fable Town. Well, yeah, they've been around for hundreds of years, right? So, okay. There's some sort of exes and everything. I am really curious about the comics now. I've always been kind of curious, but now I kind of really want to read them. Then we got Snow White over here. She's the assistant deputy mayor. Assistant to the deputy mayor, so she's just, okay. Rose Red. Oh, okay, so there's some backstory going up in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get going with the game. Already enough looking at all this. At the farm? Yes, yeah, the farm. Apparently it's not a fun place, I'm assuming. Oh, it's a prison. Oh, that's not so fun. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get... Who's this guy? Oh, that's Bluebeard. Interesting. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get going here. Who's Bluebeard, though? Who's Bluebeard? I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and start this up. Something was going down, so here we go. There's a body. Oh, there's just a... Wait, is there a body or just a coat? Um, yeah, grab the jacket. What else am I going to do? There's something under it? There's a dead body. I mean, well, there's, there's a hand. Or, what's under this thing? Ah, oh, no! You knew this girl? What the? We just Is, met her. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? How do you kill a I fable? I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. A working girl? A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's in her mouth? The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. Would he really do no. this? You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. Well, who found her? It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. Damn, how do you kill a fable? No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us 
do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. So she's full on dead? Damn! Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Well, there's something in her mouth. Mouth. She, she totally... What is... Gotta be a message of some kind of tits. Oh, the ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Oh, where the severing is? Strange. Ah! What did this to her? Oh, what could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. An axe cut would be cleaner, right? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? A dick. Oh no, we're gonna find the rest of the body. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Maybe we should move the head. We could probably move the head. Check the blood. Are we going to find the rest of the body? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? She was going to see him at the apartments. Brush over a little. What's this? Scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Question is, who is she? They're all wondering that. Genius. Doesn't tell me much. Trash can and fence. Let's check the trash can. Oh god, blood! There's some loose trash. I don't know, he thinks it's just loose trash and there's blood on this thing. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. So it might not be her blood, really? This could be unrelated somehow. Blood. Still wet. I don't know how it'd be. Sharp enough. I'm surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Alright, nothing else. Okay. Someone hopped over that fence, came over here. They could be a witness or they could be the killer. Compare fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Definitely not the same. Probably out of time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her here. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Where's the rest of her damn body, huh? Blood trail, blood on the fence, trust me. Blood trail. I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? Doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. He's skeptical of the theory. What else could it be? I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. 
As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Who's Crane? And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need to. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. I'm trying to think who Crane is. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. There's so many fables, I'm trying to remember which ones are which. Haha, oh, man. That long goodbye. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see the achievements. Hello, gents. Other gents? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work, I work here. here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. Icran. Who the hell is Icran? Well, oh, look at that background. Yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh. Is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Ichabod Crane! Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything? Take a pumpkin! Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Massage. <laughs> Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Silence. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Oh, like he cares. Never mind. Smoke away. He gets a morning massage? What's the line of that? Um... He gets a morning massage? Who gets a massage? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Not good. Is a bird. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. One of the witch's birds? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. <laughs> Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> man. Um, not the best. It 
Hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Oh, really? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. A mirror, huh? Hello, mirror probably gives hints. Hi. Oh, I got there's a lamp oh, as well. Are you kidding me? Hi. Yes. Yeah, it really makes me curious about the comics. It's a good commercial for the comics. I don't want to listen to this. Can't bug here, right? Yes, that's right. What's this? Mm-hmm. No, we got your invoice. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Uh -huh. Or what he did to get them. Which Jack? Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit... Draw the card. Draw the card. Well, that's not what I have here. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. <laughs> He's a wolf. I'll be sure to let him know. Next one. Ooh. Tower. Let's check. So what's the last one? Ah! Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Ten of swords? Well! Ah. Arrow cards. Yay. Well, someone else is getting stabbed to death before this is over. That's unfortunate. Freaking dark ass tower card as well. All right, so I used to know what those cards meant. My mother was big on fortune telling with tarot cards. Creepy shit. Oh, my grandmother as well. Creepy shit. They really like doing fortune stuff. Uh, let's see here. Lamp. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Oh, he's out? Alright, so rubbing it won't do anything? Rub one out then! Let's rub out a genie. Come on, let's rub one out. Here we go. Worth a try. <laughs> yeah, I had to talk to Mr. Mirror, or Lady Mirror. I don't know which one. Let's go ahead and take a talk. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. Hey, bro. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Fine. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. Nice. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Let's try Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. They got this. How could it be so hard to figure things out, right? Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. So you can only see what's going on now? Oh shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. How does that work? Let me try Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Is he Snow? Show me Snow White. He's right there. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. It is cool though. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do. I can't help you. Well, balls. All right, exit. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone... Or someone new. Why does it cut off early? Hmm. Pick on one at a time. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up.
Okay. Thank you. I mean, she goes from being Snow White to this. Eesh. I guess they couldn't make her too important a character, could they? Hmm. Right? She's just... She's straight up dead. Girl's dead. Director of Operations Assistant, and then Director of Operations. Oh, yeah. But she's Ichabod's assistant. Book of Symbols, Book of Fables. See what the Book of Symbols is about. Yep. Mad Patrius, Beatrice, and Solis. Alright, so. How is this about? Great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> There's the woodsman, and this is uh, the symbol on his axe. This looks familiar. Yes. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. A donkey! Donkey! What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elfish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> what the fudge? Makes animals shit gold. Wow. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Well, this is Mr. Toad's thing. Quite who I'm looking for. This is all Mr. Toad stuff. I mean, Mr. Toad wrote a lot of this in, apparently. The ring! This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlyro? I'll go look it up. Alenlyro. That means every kind of fur in German. How do you know that? Donkey skin. Yes. Oh. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Huh. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter. Called it Faith. daughter. Rap. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Hey, no Cinderella over there. Declassified Declassif over there? What the? And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. There's some obscure fable. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name we... was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Well, balls, right? Just balls. Alright, a little bit more than that'll be it for this one. We've made a revelation. Uh, oh, that's it? Alright, so the last one is the last one. Huh. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Okay, so there's the woodsman. There's him. Snow White, Seven Dwarves. These guys look like douches. 
Woodsman, there's Red. Beauty and the Beast, I'm guessing? There she is. The donkey. So, I was thinking about... Jeez, everyone's here. Is that supposed to be King Cole? No. That's not King. That's that's her father, right? Yeah. Not King Cole. That's her, all right. Long time ago. There's Mr. Toad and the Badger. Night. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. And then we got over here, we got Ichabod. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Uh-huh. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Ooh. So they're showing every character, right? That's what they're doing. They're showing every character right now. So everyone here, except for so far the dwarves, this dude, and the badger. So we're gonna probably see all these other people. Maybe even the king, right? Also, maybe even that dude. Go check out over here. Colin and his brothers. Who <laughs> the big bad wolf tormented? Beast. Beauty. Beauty and the beast. The dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Those are her bros. What happened to them? Yeah, that's me. Back when long time ago. And there's Red. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh, really? Red didn't make it? Huh. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And then there he is. And there's me. Not a good day. And everybody? That's everybody. Anything in the sky? I don't think we don't see his buff get up in this thing. Hmm. I think that's it. So, let's go check out Mr. Mirror, huh? Boop. Mirror, mirror, not on the wall. Give me some damn answers. Oh. Yeah, let's use the tarot card. Maybe he can tell me something about this. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go ahead and talk to him about her. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? I like that that worked. Faith, Father, Faith, Prince. Let's try Faith first. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Damn it. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Agent Mayor, Agent Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. No! What's he been doing? He's either dead or he killed her. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Alright. Be the father. Show me... Faith's father, the old king. Very dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. I was wondering that too. Ah, right, that's it. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. <laughs> Time to go see. Ah, crap. Sorry, I have to get that. Ah, right, next save point's a stop point. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. The balls. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. 
Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big Big, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit! Hey! Oh, dear. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. I gotta make a choice. Whenever you're ready. Okay, um... Toad seems pretty urgent. Let's go do Toad. Other dude's just sitting with a blood knife. Ladies first! Weren't there people waiting in line? Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Haha, <laughs> crap. Was there a safe? Big, big, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Lawrence could be dead right now, or about to be killed, but Toad's in trouble. And there's someone there, which means we don't know if it's just the woodsman at his own place. Okay. Toad's apartment! Big B, it's me, Toad. Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Prince Lawrence is dead now, isn't he? Okay. Not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Glass slipper shoes. Save point, save point. Save point. The frog or the prince? We chose the frog. Nice one on that. Alright, pause. Alright, there we go. That is episode two right there. Quite a bit going on there. Let me see what the hell Buffkin is really quick. Who's Buff? Are you, are you what I think you are? Yeah, he's a wing monkey. I was right. Yup, there we go. Cops? Oh, Mondays, non-fables. All right. Okay, so there we go. That right there is episode two. So, huh. So, poor Faith is, well, now dead. Now, very dead. That is unfortunate. Well, that is the game for now. I had fun with it from watching. This is all about isn't it? having fun. Thanks for going by and see you next time. Guy can eat a pumpkin right now. Totally eat a pumpkin. Mm -hmm.